Oh, you've had to phone me twice, but honestly, we've been rushed off our feet at the salon, you know. I've not been this busy since Christmas. Yeah, well, you're here now. Actually, I have to say, I think someone's already let the cat out the back. What? Hi, darling. Well, Roy Cropper in the corner shop just now, and you know, normally I can't understand a word that man says, but between us, I mean, Gwen and me, we've worked it out. Ma'am. So, um, well, I think I know all right. No, ma'am, I don't think you do. Where's David? Uh, we sent him out with his pals. We just didn't want him around for... Hey, come on, he knows about the birds and the bees, doesn't he, eh? So, are you thrilled, sweetheart? No. Oh, why not? Well, I'm right, aren't I? I've guessed it. There's going to be a new baby in the house. Yes. Oh, come on, you should be delighted, darling. I mean, your mum's not as old as she thinks she is. And I mean, Martin's no age at all. Audrey, Gail's not having a baby. Oh, wasn't she? No. Oh, well, what were Roy Cropper on about, then, your present family circumstances? He must have meant Nick. Oh, I uh, told him that to keep him quiet. Why? There's nothing wrong with Nick, no, is no, there? No, no, Nick's fine. What, what? Why are you all looking so miserable? Ma'am, it's hard to tell you this. What? It's not me that's having a baby. It's Sarah Lou. No, it's, it's a mistake, Charlotte. Uh, look, if, if she was pregnant, no one would let her have it. It's too late to do anything about it. Oh, Sarah, please, Gran. Oh. Well, didn't you notice? I took her to the doctors. Gail, you're her mother. Didn't you know what she was doing? We knew nothing until it was too don't, late. Shut up, will you? I don't want to talk to you. Look, we want what's best for Sarah Lou. This is the situation we find ourselves in. We have to deal with it. Deal with it? You have ruined your life. How could you do it? Don't turn on the girl now, Audrey. Oh, well, what have you done, eh? Flung your arms around her, told her she's wonderful. Look, she's upset enough without you screaming at her. We don't want to make a bad situation worse. Oh, how could it be any worse, you silly girl? Oh, God, please! please. Hey, silly oh. little Leave her alone! I could slap her. Nobody slaps my children. Well, maybe you should have done. Just like my father belted the hell out of me. You've been in this plight yourself. If anybody should understand, it's you. Well, at least I was 16 when I had Stephen. I mean, Lord knows I suffered enough for that. I wasn't sleeping around the age she is. I haven't been sleeping around. You don't get that way by holding hands, Sarah Louise. It's not like catching a cold. Oh, leave her alone, Audrey. What's done's done, oh, OK? Listen to you, right. What a wonderful father figure you've been, eh? I mean, you're as bad as each other. Have some sympathy for the girl. It is not sympathy she needs. Oh, I mean, who knows about all this? Oh. The whole world, I suppose. Uh -huh. It's the council you're worried about. Well, yes, it is, actually. Because I have dragged myself up to be on that council, and now she is dragging me back down again. Your father should have belted you harder than he did. Oh, should he really? Yes. So what about the father of this child, then? I mean, what's he going to do? Who is he, anyway? It doesn't matter who he is. What do you mean, it doesn't matter? We're not interested, OK? Oh, I see. You don't know, is that it? So she's been sleeping with all sorts. Ah, then... Oh, at least I knew who Stephen's father was and yours. Well, you never saw fit to tell me. Oh, Gail, that was years ago. We're talking about now. We're talking about Sarah Louise. What is she, the town tart? Oh, ma'am, just get out, will you? Sent him to the red wreck. I can't think of anywhere else. I wonder what he's making of all this. God knows. My gran hates me. No, she doesn't. <sighs> I've never heard a tall like that before. She didn't know what she was saying. Oh, she did. No, she didn't. I said a lot of things I didn't mean. No, not like her, you didn't. Mind you, I could have said a lot more. You see, you lose your temper. You've no idea where it'll end. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. We know you are. Never mind. We'll get through, won't we? We're a family. We're strong. Yeah. So no matter what happens, we'll stick together. No matter what. That's what families are for. 